So this is the Ordinance Committee of March 9th, 2015. It's a little after 5 o'clock. Uh, I'm Councilor David Murphy. I'm here with Councilor Ryan O'Donnell and Maureen Carney. And uh, we are ready to go. I'm going to announce that there's audio and video recording of the meeting. I'll also announce that there is no member of the public here to join us tonight, just our clerk, Pam. Mm -hmm. um, so we're to order. We've done our little accounting for who's here. There's no public comment because there's no public at all. So let's approve the meeting, uh, the minutes of our meeting from February 18th. We have a motion on that? Uh, I move approval. And I'll second. second that. Okay. No discussion? All in favor? Aye. Okay. Um, first ordinance to review is an ordinance pertaining to car sharing in central business. Uh, Mr. Chairman, the planning board still has to consider that. They have not got to that yet. All right. So we have a motion to continue that to our next meeting. So moved. I second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. That's quickly done. And next we have an ordinance pertaining to campaign spending limits which I believe you're the sponsor of. I am. And um, I would also make a, a motion to continue, although I'm happy to discuss it or answer <laughs> questions in a, a preliminary way if, if the committee wants, but um, I've been working on it a little bit more with the solicitor to iron out the, the kinks. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah. when he, he usually talks to me before the meeting and he said you were still working on it, so we didn't suspect that we'd vote on it tonight. But uh, why don't you just fill us in oh, a little sure. on what's going on with it, even though we understand we're not going to vote on it. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, this year, January 1st, uh, new campaign finance laws took effect for the state, uh, doubling the amount that individuals can donate to a political campaign from $500 to $1,000. Um, there were no other changes in terms of other uh, contribution limits. Uh, so this ordinance would simply maintain that for Northampton. It would tie our contribution limit locally one half of whatever the state maximum would be. So mm -hmm. that would be $500 like it's been since 1994. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and, that, and that's what and it that's does. The, um, so really just the mechanics of it is what you need to work out with. Yeah, um, you know, so it, uh, we're currently the enforcement of it is kind of a matter of state law, although it's it's a little squishy to be honest, to use a technical term uh, in terms of who, who, <laughs> who's responsible for doing that. Um, but if we're going to have new rules for the city, we need at the local have the, level. Have the clerk get on board. And so forth. Okay. Yeah. Good. Um, so we didn't we didn't vote yet to continue it, did we? I'll move to continue it. Okay. Second. Okay. okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Well, moving right along. Yes, the dog will be out of here in no time. Uh, let's see. The next thing we have is an ordinance pertaining to lost parking ticket fines. And I bet transportation and parking sure. knows all about this. Would you like a motion first? Or sure. Uh, I, I move a positive recommendation. Second. Okay. Thank you. Then if you, I'm sure, did, sure. did you guys sponsor this or did this come out? Of uh, the mayor sponsored it. It was presented by uh, David Pomerantz of Central Services in the Transportation and Parking Commission. Uh, it pertains to, to EJ Garrett Garage. Uh, Basically, it, we don't really have a fine set in ordinance if you lose your ticket. You know, and it was set to $20, I believe, uh, for a lost ticket. And um, I'm looking for the actual ordinance. Is it in yeah. our package? I have it electronically if I can get it here. I'm not sure I have a print out either. Well, I have the electronic. Oh, I need to be You have it electronically? As soon as I'm connected to the public Wi Fi, okay. it's just a matter of getting through the young page. Okay. But I'll bring it right up and read it if it's helpful. It's 15373 sure. if that's helpful. I can just pull the ordinance. I'll pull the PDF up as soon yeah, as I, I don't have a hard copy of it either. If you all hold on one second. Sure. But the gist of it is 20 bucks if you lose your ticket. If you'd like me to read it, I can know. Uh, well, sure, if it's not, if you can get it up. On the screen in a reasonable time. Unless you want to just move. Okay, right. you got one? Uh, oh, Pam's got one. Okay. Actually, you know what? Uh, you probably don't. I have the wrong um, document attached to your agenda. If you hold on one minute. Uh, but then the solicitor is seeing it like the other ordinances, and it's fine. But it's pretty yep. straightforward. It does a $20 fee. 
kind of a larger issue if we want to have you know other lots open for longer periods of time but this pertains just to the just parking garage itself so. yeah exactly mm -hmm. so. no i think it's good to have something codified and that i mean that would seem to be a little punitive given that I, I imagine you've got to be in the garage a long time to get to a twenty dollar parking fee. Right. So I mean, it'd be, the like, page, it'd be like a lost day. Yeah, but that's so it. The link is not. Day, yeah. It doesn't. The link actually doesn't bring you to. It says we're sorry, but there's not a web page. I'll try it one more time. I'll, I'll try one more to. Um, I, I can probably pull it up on the city council agenda. Lost ticket. You know what it is? You have but you have campaign finance PDF yeah. listed for both of them. So unfortunately, that's the one that comes up when we click on. The I couldn't. Ticket. I couldn't figure out when I was making your packets and I went with two copies of this one word. Yeah, that's why. Mm -hmm. Now I know. Do you have it? Do you want to read it, or um, if you have it, okay. or do we just understand? I'm going to read it from from okay. the. Uh, Just move forward with the next one and I'll pull this one up. The next one is the. The next one is solid waste. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I have the. Yeah, I don't so should have. I move to put this motion on the table? We want to do it more informally. I you, have, you have the motion. Well, we have we have we have the parking on the table already. I think so. We can second it. So let's just wait for Pam to find it. It doesn't look like we're going to be here forever tonight. So. We'll Spare the time for Pam to find it. Yeah, that's the text right. of it. And just while she's waiting, uh, the next item, just so I know, is this uh, solid waste. The solid waste. And I have um, a number of PDFs related to that. There's the actual ordinance itself. And then it was revised. And then there were uh, enforcing officers' penalties. And I think the third PDF with that, <coughs> oh, it's actually just, as you said, a revised. Yeah, there's a, the original, there's a revised version, and then there's enforcing officers and penalties. Yeah, the revised were, were a list of actual, what's called, amendments. Councilor Spector told me he was planning to hold hearings, set of hearings in the Edloo Committee. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't know if I'm going to wait for that. And is it first uh, April seventh? Is Ed Lou's oh, meeting on that? So that public hearings. So that we'll wait for too. Yeah. Right. Okay. Did you find the parking? I do. I have it. Okay. So section one, that's section three twelve dash thirty six e of the code of the ordinances of the city of Northampton, Massachusetts, is amended so that each section shall read as follows. That section three six. 312-36E, parking meter locations and regulations is amended by adding the following. The fees for maximum parking time in on-street and off-street parking areas shall be as follows. Five B unlimited, free for the first hour, 50 cents for every hour after, and $20 for a lost ticket. EVI restricted to use by electric vehicle while charging, free for the first hour, 50 cents for every hour after, and $20 for a lost ticket. So essentially all it does is it adds the, the lost place ticket. on the lost ticket for $20. And the, the, the charging slots are the ones that we're already used to, and then the other one's a garage. Mm -hmm. So that seemed pretty straightforward. Yes. And transportation and parking was final. Well. Are there any questions at all? No, that sounds pretty kind right. of dry. Well, I'll in favor of forwarding this with a positive recommendation. Say aye. 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 Good. We're getting short on material here. Solid mm -hmm. waste is waiting for Ed Lou. Do you need a motion to continue that, or did we just do No, this? we should probably do that. I'll move to continue that. Second. Next meeting. All right. All in favor? Aye. aye. And then <clears throat> appointments. The bulk of them from the last meeting we can't act on, right, because it hasn't been seven days. Right. So we can't mm -hmm. do those. <clears throat> but we can do Christina, can't we? Christina Hodges, was she she preceded the seven days. February 19th was the referral. I, I spoke to her, so I would need approval. Okay. 
A second. Positive okay. recommendation. Any more discussion on her? Anything else? Yeah, I, I, I spoke with Ms. Hodges, and apparently she's been an associate member. Yeah. I wasn't exactly sure what that was, but she's been involved with the yeah. commission, and so she's being bumped up to a full member. She's very qualified. Yeah. They tra they're traditionally non-voting members that are sort of getting up to speed for when there's a vacancy, so when they step in, they're familiar with. They can attend the meetings. They can comment. They just can't vote. So. If there's an opening, they're already up to speed on the business of the committee, okay. and they can step right in. So, okay. Yeah. And usually, you know, if they're really interested and they're going to be good members, they do hang around as associates waiting for a slot. So, okay. All right. Yeah, so, all good. in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? And uh, uh, yeah, she's the only one, right? Because everybody else was. Yeah. We got to wait meeting. for our next meeting to do, because of the short time between between the two. Okay. So you have those. Um, Applications in your packet. Yes, yes, we did. Okay. We actually even split them up, giving most of them to Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> associate yeah. member. Yeah, right? it, it, yeah the, the, the newest member gets the bulk of the people to call up, except for the one he didn't want. And I took that. Is it confirmed that I have only uh, Jeffrey Jones? A wise Jones? choice. I have Jeffrey Jones, and I think that's it. Hmm? That's the only one I was handed, at least. Jeffrey so. Jones. Yes, for the and you know him because I know him. From, that's a well, housing authority, right? Yeah, he so replaces you, the seat that I held on the housing yeah, authority. Yeah, so you know the committee right. and you know the person, so right. that's good. Yep. I think I've got maybe three or four, I don't remember. Okay. Including the hot potato. So, is there any business we did not assume would or expect or to come up? Are we expecting we'd be here more than 50 Do you think minutes, we're good? And are you, uh, you got anything we missed? We look like we we don't want to we don't want to quit till you're happy because um, everything been covered. I think it has. Well, you saw I crossed off the agricultural commission appointment. Mm -hmm. What was that? Because that's charter expiration time as well. Yes. Oh, forty-five day limit to get back to the um, council and then. That didn't happen. Well, oh, I, I don't okay. think we realized it at the time that it had such. Mm -hmm. We didn't. We continued at the last meeting because I couldn't get a hold. Right. So then, that, then, it, then he expired. But so the news the, is, ain't nothing growing at least for. <laughs> well, what is the next step then? Is that just the mayor sends them, the puts them in the system? Either the same name or another yeah. name, and then no, no, he's automatically uh, approved. Or Oh, so oh, it's right. automatic. Oh, because oh, yes, if we don't take action. Oh, I see. We have terminology, but. So we got to remember that we can always, you know. Yeah, ah. we could just not do anything in the 45 days after the mayor. It's an automatic approval. Yeah. All right. So if we want to have a say, we've got to get in there before 45 days. I'll remember that. I won't answer the phone. <laughs> I'm never going to be appointed to something. <laughs> <laughs> I just won't answer the phone. <laughs> All right. So you think we're done? Correct. I'm just looking quickly here. Yeah. And we Take think we're time. done. We're only 15 minutes in. Uh, yeah. That's it. We're not going to push the overtime budget on this meeting, that's for sure. Would you like a motion to adjourn? Yes, sir. I move to adjourn. Can you go with that? And I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.